Ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls, anglers of all ages, welcome to this week's Tackle Box. My name is Jack Spear. If we haven't met before, I'm a community manager here with Expansive Worlds, and uh, my job is to go play outside digitally. <laughs> so this week, we're out here on the Angler. Uh, we've got some big stuff happening, big update coming. You guys have heard about it. If you haven't, we'll go over that. Uh, but there's lots happening in the community right now. The king of the catch this week is the Kokanee Salmon. So... Uh, I got on last night after dinner, I kicked back, I had myself a uh, nice dinner, and it was a relaxing evening, I thought, I'm going to go fish a little bit, I'm going to see if I can track these guys down. I'd seen it been difficult for some of our players to, uh, to get the diamond, and for some even to find them, well, I've had a heck of a time, let me tell you. Now, I could just go ask our devs, I could, but I thought it'd be more fun to go and search. I've been catching all kinds of things. I'll show you my setup and what I'm toggling through. Beautiful here. I've ended up over on the east side of Golden Ridge Reserve. We started on the west. I worked a lot of these lakes here. I really didn't have any luck with them. I was catching all kinds of things, but not my kokanee salmon. So I guess more to the point of this is uh, there, there can be a struggle when you're getting going. I had thought of asking the community for help in their best spots, and I thought, what? better way to do that during a stream but i thought it'd be kind of fun again i could just go ask our devs they're very forthcoming with this stuff but i've been enjoying my time here in the angler and learning a lot of um what's below the surface okay is that like a pun in a fishing game because there is quite a bit uh there's there's definitely areas in which you know the team is looking at and things they want to want, want to put in place but i find i find it engaging uh, so we're down here right now. If you want to come and join me, come and find me, my friends. Oh, it's looking like the server's gotten kind of busy. It, it was actually, I got I jumped around a couple servers. It put me in three, I think, uh, over the course of about five minutes of hopping around, trying to find one without many people. But uh, by all means, you come and join me. I'm down here in the bottom right at this big old mass of water. Hello, chat. Hello. Greetings. Hello. What's happening? Good to see you. You missed the stream? Oh, wow. Well, hey, you, there's always the VOD, my friend. There's always the VOD. Lots going on in the Hunter right now, too. It's it's busy times for us in expansive worlds. You know, having these two IPs, we got the Hunter, uh, which, you know, six years old. It's just got this mass following. It's big expectations. Um, and 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 it's it's moving and grooving. And then we got the angler, which is young and exciting and buddied. And I'm still learning the game. You know, I I do not pretend to be a pro. <laughs> in fact, I'll tell you, you want to find the pros, get in the Discord. You know, folks like Wedge and Rake and KMB and Hasley, they're always out there helping folks. Um, great great source and wealth of information. And like any of our games, there is a lot to learn. That stream started now, Alexander. Thank you for coming to join me. What's happening, Trick Shots? When's uh, when's it coming to PlayStation Five? So I, I I really wish I could give a solid date. I do. I I wish I had that in front of me. Um, it it is in development. These things don't happen overnight. You have to think that this game was in development for years for PC, uh, and then it just released you know, last year. So we're well in development for console. In fact, it's coming really nice. I, I keep up with what's happening with the team. And uh, I'd, you know, I'd, I'd love to be able to say what I think it's going to be, but um, I can't <laughs> because I don't know. And we don't want to make any broken promises. It is slated to be this year, uh, but you're going to have to stay tuned for some updates and, and we'll see how that unfolds. We try to put it out there as much as possible. I really want some solid messaging uh, to be able to say, hey, it's coming this date, that date, but that's hard to do because it, it's all about not breaking a promise, right? We see it in this industry uh, time and again. Oh, it's coming out in Q1 and then it comes out in Q3 and then you got mud on your face. So hence the um, the reason why it hasn't really been put out there as of yet. Where? Let me think now. So, okay, Kokanee. I fished a lot of Kokanee. IRL. In fact, uh, where our cottage was on the Sunshine Coast, it was a stocked lake. We had kokanee galore. Great pan fries in the morning, let me tell you. We uh, we did a little differently. We we trolled. <laughs> we had our little car topper. We, we actually built a little troll gate on the back, and uh, we just tied flies, and we trolled around the lake. We always got hits along the edges and the real vegetated areas. It was awesome. Loved it. That was our go-to. 
Uh, so, but it's different here in the game. It's quite different. Now, I know that they're, you know, you'll find them in deep lakes, you'll find them in shallow lakes. So I'm hoping we're going to find them somewhat around the shore edges. Um, you know, just teasing me already. So I don't know, as good as any, let's start here. Let's see how we do. Tips and tricks, you guys, you want to throw them out there? Suggestions, spots? By all means, we're going to have a little fun with it here today. And we're going to talk about this update. It's pretty big. It's juicy. It's got a lot of stuff happening in it. I love the ability to get a tackle box so I don't have to go to the shop and change, my, and change up my setup. That is something the devs have talked about when they've joined me here on stream. Uh, it's interesting that, you know, when I see a lot of the things that are coming from you guys and hearing the devs talking about it, uh, I see them in the Discord. I know what they're doing, but it's great to see that they're listening like that. Yes, Tackle Box, that's something that's been talked about. Uh, the storage, it's a shuffle. It's a shuffle right now. You can't just load everything all up and away you go, which, you know, my Tackle Box is about 40 pounds IRL because I have way too much crap in it. <laughs> I actually bought just a little guy uh, for when uh, we go to a place called Weaver. Beautiful spot. Beautiful, beautiful spot. And uh, it's very specific what we're fishing. So sometimes I pull stuff out and it's a pain. We get it. That's something that is being talked about. Uh, and I wouldn't be surprised if we saw that I turn, I like to turn my DPI up. Yeah. Yeah. It makes life so much easier. I've got the twitching down, the jigging I'm working on. You got to go that real straight up and down motion. At least one flick of the bar and you can get it um, most of the time. But I'm on the fence. I haven't caught one of these guffs yet. I don't know if I should jig, if I should be constant, if I should stop and go, if I should twitch. Twitch it right now because I haven't caught one yet. Um, I, I I found that, you know, IRL, it was just constant. We would just troll around. Nice tackle box, backpack. That would be nice. It really would, right? You'll take care of what's happening, my friend. Good to see you. Good morning. Hello, hello, Captain Muir. Welcome, welcome. Lotus. Well, thank you. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know if I believe you there. <laughs> Looking good. It's very strong claim. Appreciate you, my friend. Welcome. Good to have you. Let's get fed up with the question. It's hard, Keith. It's so hard. But I try to answer it as often as I can because, man, I've been there. I'm a gamer. Started as a console gamer. You know, I'm a PC sort of part-time console gamer these days because my son, he, he's got a PC now, but we played a lot on console, a lot of games on there together. Let's go try some some constant here. Um, I know the struggle. I know the struggle. When there's something you want out, man, you know, and uh, I've always felt the same way. Working in the industry and seeing how it all unfolds, the amount of work that goes into it, um, I guess I can, I can understand why it takes that time. I see our devs. This is the sort of thing you guys don't get to see, right? I, you see it somewhat. When they get to come out, you can hear it in their voice. They're passionate. They want this in everybody's hands. They want it out to console. You know, we have so many people in our community that want it. So it is a big focus. But yeah, it's a tough one because you always just want to, you know, you want to address it every time you read it, but it's constant. It's on all of our socials and our streets. It pops up in the Discord and in the Reddit groups, you know? <laughs> You try, you try, and I don't blame anyone for asking. You are never doing anything wrong by asking for what you want in life, in my opinion. And uh, when's it coming to console? I would love to be able to give a solid defined date on that. We're working on it, my friends. And as we learn more, we put it out there as, as often as we can. Uh, but it, it is looking good. I, you know, I've, uh, I've talked with Rushy, and Rushy's actually been, um, he's got his hands in everything. That's why it's great when we have him out here. That's why he knows all the answers. Uh, he's got his hands in everywhere. And uh, according to him, with the play testing he's been doing, it's coming It's coming along really nice, really nice. I quite like this game with, with GamePad. Um, I toggle between the two. I, 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 I'm, if, if, so like last night, I was using my GamePad. I had my chair all reclined. I was kicking back with the lights off, you know? It was awesome. It was awesome. My son walks in and he's like, "That you, you're gonna fall asleep, Dad." It was too relaxing. Look at this, man. Anyhow, yeah. So <laughs> here I am in the morning, getting after it. Do we have an ETA consoles? <laughs> Rewind. <laughs> we just talked about it for the last ten minutes. I'm sorry. I, I wish I could tell you more right now. That's what I got. <laughs> Early next year. No, nah, no. Nah. No, it won't be that. It won't be that. Um, you know, the original intent when, when the game launched was that we wanted to try and have it out um, 
as close to the end of, of last year as possible. But that proved to be too challenging uh, because, you know, it's the same client, right? And there were so many changes and additions made, it made um, so many tweaks and stuff. And uh, so it, it uh, I, I, I can say with an almost certainty it is, it is this year, um, just what point, yeah. Anyways, we're not gonna dwell on that. We're gonna keep going. So please don't think I'm ignoring your questions about it, but I can only say so much about it right now. Oh, I know, we can't wait for you guys to get your hands on it. It'll be pretty cool, it will. It'll be nice to see what everybody does. Use a foot pedal to take the straight off my wrist. Do you really, Balsam? That, it's not a bad idea. <laughs> it's not a bad idea at all. <laughs> That'd be pretty good, that'd be pretty good. So this update coming in here, let me yoink, get out of there real quick and uh, jump in to two of this. Um, we'll talk a little bit about it. First off, I hope you guys have caught the news. We, we're, we're doing something different. Now, we've always had um, these groups from the community for our various games, and um, you know, we have a lot of uh, experts, if you will, um, consultants within the company for both of our games, for fishing and for hunting. Um, but one of the things we wanted to do was uh, we really liked the community involvement and we really liked how things were shaping up through the Discord. And the talk was, how can we elevate this? How can we one up, level up, so to speak? Hence the, the, the oh, are you, are you gonna do it? I don't care, just hit it, man. Hit it. You're not even gonna hit it. I'm like way past you now. That guy, look at him just sauntering on by. Here, let's just, come on, pal. You know you want it. What if I do a little stop and go? Will I entice you? I'm not going to entice you. But that was the birth of the Player Council. Uh, we've talked about it a little bit. We've actually had, uh, we've had quite a few members sign up, which is a lot of work for uh, us, the community team, <laughs> to try and get through it all. I'm going to move. This isn't working for me. This is, this is not the spot. Um, it's been pretty cool watching it unfold. And so we have a lot of interest, a lot of people jumping in. So what is the Player Council? The Player Council is a group that we are putting together um, where, you know, as as things come through development, um, we'll, be, we'll be reaching out through this group, getting feedback and input, um, offering early looks and early testing to get, you know, legit player feedback. We can test all we want. We have external companies that test. We do our own company play tests. We have groups. Uh, but to get the people that are actually playing it involved, uh, it, it's different, right? It's a different approach that I wish more in the gaming industry would take. So the players have a chance to help shape the game that they want to play. We're going to head over to that bridge over there. I like the look of them trestles. You want to tussle trestles? We're on our way. So it's pretty cool. So you can sign up for the um, for the uh, player council. It's, um, I oh, I think the cutoff is next week. Uh, so definitely, yeah, you can find the links in the Discord. I think even the, our Nightbot might be popping them up, but definitely check it out. Great way to get involved. You get the early access, early looks, um, and I'm pretty sure you're going to get all the content for free. There is a limited amount of space. We can't choose everybody. Um, obviously, you know, those that are with time in fishing games <laughs> in our game are going to have uh, a precedence. If you're not playing the game, you're not going to get into the council. I'm just saying. All right, let's see. We're on the lake shore now. IRL, this is the sort of area I have the most luck. We'll see what happens. I'm going to turn my speed rate down. We'll do some constants. We'll see if we have any luck while we carry on through some of these patch notes. One of the largest fish you can catch in the game currently, Osprey Daz. Well, that's that's a tough one. I mean, white trout are freaking behemoths. The legendaries would be the biggest. So there's, uh, it's kind of a cool feature. It's something the devs just wanted to add for those, you know, those fishing stories. Um, it's uh, it's their legendary fish. So there's three legendaries currently in game. You'll find them on Golden Ridge Reserves. We've announced, and we even talked about the names of some of them, and we might be able to go through that, uh, of uh, new legendaries coming to Norway. So being this early in the game and seeing this happen, I, I would expect that you're going to see more around these legendaries, not just more legendaries, but uh, let's see how they unfold in the future. They're a lot of fun if you haven't tried one they can take time <laughs> you know, they, they can like don't expect you're gonna hook it and pop it right into the boat these things fight you have to use the right lure you have to find the location the location changes 
has the chance to change each week. They've changed every week thus far. Uh, and different ones are available at different times. So the idea behind this is to bring people together. You're not going to be able to go out. Well, maybe you will. But the chances of you going out by yourself and finding which legendary is active, actually catching that legendary, never mind even finding where they are, uh, it's it's a challenge. So come and join the Discord, get involved. It's really fun to watch it unfold. It really, really is. Right up here, dude. I'm glad to hear that, Dad. Glad to hear it. Are we going to get fishing tournaments in game or leaderboards? That is a huge topic amongst the team. Um, I would say you can expect that, yes. First iteration, just while stuff is being looked at, thought out, designed, worked on, uh, is the weekly competition within our Discord. You get some big bragging rights. You go into the Hall of Fame. Think the Hunter six years old. Imagine this game six years from now, and you're in the first few months of the Hall of Fame in the Discord. It's, it's kind of cool. But we will be seeing, I, I would say... I can't say with a certainty because I'm not the designer, I'm not the producer, uh, but from everything that has been said by our devs here on stream and off stream, um, it's a huge consideration. It kind of goes hand in hand with fishing, right? Fishing tournaments are massive. Um, you know, they can really weigh you down. Eh, it's too soon it's too much i'm sorry but you know you can expect um something along these lines player council is going to be a big part of that in how it shapes up and what it looks like you know we don't want to just slap something together throw it in and say hey here's a tournament you know it's it it, it would be meaningful right that's uh much like you see the legendaries they wanted to be meaningful they wanted to be an experience They're crafting something here you know not another grind. <laughs> no, it's not, actually. It's not a grind. That's the one thing they were um, very adamant about. They didn't... This isn't a great one, like, from the Hunter. I know a lot of our, our Hunter players really made that comparison and expected this is, a, this is, like, a great one. It's not. It's very unique. Another mode of transport would be nice for a third person driving. First person could be nauseating. Lady Nibiru, hello and welcome. So good to see you. Yes, that's actually something that is being worked on. Is that in... Okay, so I know with this update, uh, we're not getting the, the different first person cameras, but what we have, because there is a first person right now, and I know that's a bit much, but there is, I believe, um, some sort of a... Uh, option to that that's being worked on however we are getting cameras with this new update different views uh, for driving the vehicle i think one of them's like you know you're up on top of the vehicle there's one on the hood uh it just changes the perspective and the big thing was much like the comment you said we had some members of the community that were getting nauseated we can't have that you know we don't want you getting sick of the game okay let's try off of this side we'll go a little deeper now I am using um, a size five spoon right now. I might up that. Uh, I've got spoons. I've got a. I got a spinner with me. We've got some spinner bait. Tubes work well on these guys. I didn't bring any tubes with me. Spoons and um, the spinner bait should work actually pretty nice. We'll see. That's why you join Discord and wait for Wedge to post where it is, right, Mister Wilson? My bad. Is that Wilson, King of the King of the Catch, uh, legendary fisherman himself? You're, you know, hey, Wedge is a plethora of information. So is Rake. So is KMB. I'm seeing all these players like really start to stand out in our community. I love I love seeing people get involved. But yeah, I agree. I, I'm I'm watching. I didn't want to get the cheat this time. I'm like, you know, because last week I, I was like, what area should I go? And the devs were like, oh, if you go here, they're super helpful. They they know everything there is to know. I didn't want to do that. I wanted to have a bit of adventure. If I don't catch a single bloody one, then I'm just gonna push and push until I do. Because that's that's kind of that's kind of the thing, right? But I'm not, I'm not having any luck here. I like to give an area an ample opportunity, you know, but uh, we're not going to spend too long. I only got an hour with you folks. I look forward to this every week. I, I actually wasn't sure uh, if I would be out solo this week because we have this big patch, right? So there's more coming to it, and we'll talk about that while I reel. I have my strike indicator on, so I'll hear it so I can actually look at my other screen. Um, there's some line improvements coming, and I'm looking forward to seeing these. Um, I, you know, we've seen a lot of changes to the line and, and uh, to, to, I mean, everything in general. Um, but when they say something like line improvements, it gets me excited, right? The reeling toggling, much like, um, so there's a few that we can kind of 
loop together here. The reeling toggling is nice. It just gives us a easier option for those that, you know, like the jigging and twitching controls is another one with this update. So instead of, you know, trying to do your Twitch like so, there, uh, there'll be a button. You can just hit a button and it'll bring it in that way. I, I haven't seen it. I haven't tried it, I should say. I've seen the development of it and, and them talking and, and as it's come to life. So I think that's going to be a big one for a lot of our players. Um, I know some really do like the motion. Um, some really, you know, they like that that freeform cast. And, uh, you know, if you want to jig on your way in, that straight up and down that I often end up in twitching. Try it. We'll try and do a jig this time in. You can even get the jig just by going up, by coming down. I find this one a little easier. Um, sometimes I still end up with the twitching. But some fish are very specific, right? So like, there's there's that to consider. There's a bait uh, lure compact refresh. I'm not, uh, I wish Rushy was here that I could say, huh? Explain that one again. I know he did. I know he touched base on that, but I know that um, I believe that to be the bait and the lures. They're getting a little bit of love, a little bit of a rework, so to speak, right? They're 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 always tweaking and balancing. Um, right now, there's uh, I know that part of the want on this is we've seen members in the community said, "Hey, just go grab this number seven spoon and you can go out. You're gonna catch all this." That that will be changing. That will be changing. Would a tournament get a special design? Of different articles of clothing. I think that'd be great. You know what I'd really like, Darth? And, and I'm pushing for this. I'm just going to say it right now. And they're all watching. I know they are. <laughs> I'm going to get in trouble for this one. I would really like to to uh, get Twitch drops going. I think it would be a lot of fun. Uh, I Get our creators out there. Um, and uh, get the Twitch drops going. It's it's always exciting for the for the players. And, and you just spurred my, my thoughts on it. Because that's what I think we could do in Twitch drops. Special outfits. You know, that sort of thing. Uh, but... But there's huge development going right now and, and, you know, things like that, if they were able to happen, they'd be far out. <laughs> far out, man. <laughs> I'm, it's my own wish list. It is. It's my own wish list. But I think it would be cool. And, and to be able to do a competition and have various rewards like that would be great options, right? You know, maybe a, a reel that, that has the tournament you were in, the tournament's name on it. Um, or even like just stickers that can go onto the the end of of your rod, or you know, even for your Jeep if you could deckle them up, right? You know, <laughs> you know, took part in, in fish again in twenty twenty three. Is the engine optimization being pushed in the next update? Um, I don't have engine optimization on this list for this update. Uh, the reason why I say it like that is I know there's been talks about um the boats and and how they run and. Uh, the big focus originally was we had some clipping with the water, and that's all been sorted out. So now it, it is it is more immersive when you're driving the boat. I, I like being loaded up with friends, right? I like being loaded up with friends. You can turn and look at their expressions. What's up, Ned Bella? How's it going? Good to see you. What's going on, Jungle Whiskey? Welcome, my friend. Welcome. Okay, I think we're gonna move. Let's try. Let's try in there and see if we have any luck. For those of you just joining me, I opted not to uh, take the easy route this week and to pick our devs' brains on some of the best spots to go. You'll often see me in some of the better spots because I've done exactly that. I've said, you know what? Let's uh, let's low-key give out a good location here, <clears throat> like last week. And, uh, you know, you kind of head out to a, a good spot. But I thought this might be fun. Part of the thing I love about games is figuring it out. And uh, I had a lot of fun last night bouncing around all the different lakes. I spent about 10, 15 minutes in each spot, uh, and I was at it for, uh, for a couple hours. You know, a couple hours. I didn't catch as much as I wanted, I'll tell you. I was, I, it's, it's certainly not a, uh, a, a monkeys in a barrel type scenario, right? You're just pulling out one after another. Decorate the Jeeps would be cool. Absolutely, Gypsies. And I, I really like how they've brought uh, the different... Oh, I should keep my finger on the dial here. How they brought the different customizations in so far. Like, we have different livery for the different Jeeps and boats. I just think it opens the door for how much more you will see down the line and how it's delivered. I mean, geez, we, we had the just the free cosmetics. I love that they're doing that. Just more. Here's some more. Have more, you know. But then we had uh, the souvenir shop came into play. Ultimately, probably the best skins in game right now. I love them. I love seeing people in the Ranger uniform. It makes me feel like I'm in trouble. I'm always making sure that my cooler is closed. <clears throat> yeah, 
but uh, I, I love seeing it. And so that was a really cool addition. And, you know, just speaking on different ways they could bring things to the game. I, I think that there's really some big possibilities with this, right? Love that call about right on that, right on. Thank you, thank you. I'm we're excited about it too, man. Everybody, expansive worlds. It's exciting times. We've got so much happening in in, in both of our games right now. Um, it's wild. I'm I'm like I'm like this right now. My my, my hands in ten different directions. There's, oh, I just cast. I didn't mean to cast. All right, let's uh, let's see. Let's try and toss it into that little nook and cranny over there. I'm gonna change position to the back of the boat. Back of the bus. Here we go. You know, I'm probably dreaming. Some of you right now are like, Beard, just go to this location. By all means, throw them in there. If you want to toss them in, we'll uh, maybe take some player suggestions. Need a little rubber duck for the Chiefs? Yeah. The gloves of the main arc of clothing, for example, win the large belt bass tournament, large matchmaking, and win uh, gold plated bossy oak gloves. Gold plated to boot. Gloves in both of our games are big, especially the anglers. It's what you see, right? You also notice the uh, arm detail as we. Move our head down. Yeah, that's pretty cool. <laughs> yeah, I, I like playing with the different gloves. And that would be a good one. You're right. Um, the gloves, rod, reel, I think would be a, a big focus for rewards. Um, you know, and, and our artists obviously have fun with it. You know, I'm using one of the DLC rods right now. Pretty fantastic. Is Rushy going to add a Rangers outfit with Daisy Duke shorts? Yeah, I mean, anything's possible. <laughs> anything's possible. Is it probable? I mean, you're talking Daisy Dukes. Let's go. <laughs> oh, I overcast. Actually, hold on. Let's, let's, I want to get, do we try in there? No, we're going to go, let's just put a few more back. I'm trying the shallow route right now. We're going to have to move out to a, uh, probably a deeper, deeper section of the lake. But like I say, I haven't had the luck yet. More animals running around. That would be cool. That's been a big talk is, is you know, you can hear the animals. You got the ambiance. Our audio, our, our, they're freaking wizards. Um, and yeah, it would be nice to see, uh, to you know, just have a, a, a deer or a, or a freaking moose or, you know, a ducks land on the water, geese. It's, you know, yeah. Killer chickens. Yeah. Yeah. Murder cobras. They'd be attacking you, man, I'm telling you. <laughs> that would be cool. That would be cool. But again, you know, there's a lot of focus that the team has right now. There's things that they want to put in. There's a lot of big requests like bottom fishing, fly fishing, uh, you know, a lot of requests for different areas that, that they want next reserves. I mean, all this comes from the community and the team looks at it all. So, you know, you have to prioritize, right? What do you want to do? Do you want to take the time and to add animals that around here which i think we would all appreciate or do you take that time adding rod holders or you know what i mean so yeah it's a tough one it is a tough one okay my my impatience has reached the next level we're getting out of here we're going to move to the other end of the lake i'm not having any luck i could maybe try and change my lure out which maybe because i am fishing with a pretty you know what maybe let's do that first before i go Hold on, I'm jumping ahead of myself. Let's go ahead and pop this because right now I'm using a five. So if if we were to move, I could try a frog. Um, I was thinking of maybe moving up to a six. See if I get anything. Maybe jump it onto the spinner. I have my spinner bay with me. Frogs work quite well too, I'm told. Uh, so it's a tough one. Let's let's go onto the, the six spoon and see how we do. Uh, I think you ever had letter type. What's that? add any other types of animals to the reserve if we're talking the hunter uh come on back on tuesday yeah and we'll talk the hunter on tuesday my friend will we begin the patch um before it's released we'll be getting oh the patch info sorry sorry uh no no typically your your patch your patch notes come out with the patch they uh they they you know because then i'll tell you why actually the, Brett, glad you brought that up <laughs> um the reason for that is, you know, th these patches have to go through extensive testing. And there's like, let's just say they've got, like with this one, there's like 15 to 20 big things happening in it. But they might have a list of 30. So right to the last minute, they're trying to get as much in, but it has to pass. It all has to pass their testing right to the last minute. 
Um, they're, you know, they're just trying to squeeze as much in as they can for it. So the patch notes evolve as they go. And, uh, and, and the patch notes then have to be passed from the devs and they have to be written up by a copyright, uh, you know, have to be copywritten and everything has to go through its paces. So it's just not something that, you know, we go, oh, here's the patch notes. I have a preliminary, I have points. Um, and that's what we always like to say when we go over this stuff that, hey, this could change. There's, there's a good chance that, you know, everything that we're talking about right now, um, you know, maybe last minute the team says, you know what, we're not happy with this and it doesn't make it. So that that's the reason for that. Maybe a little long wind, long-winded explanation, but I like, to, I like to try and impart the stuff that I've learned from working in the industry with the company uh, because, man, I'm telling you, it's, it's nice to know these things. The, not just the ifs and hows, but the whys and the hows, right? Is that... Is that too much? No. Uh, one thing would be fun is if you could bring your friends on the same boat. No fit. Yeah, you absolutely can. Absolutely. You can fit three of your friends on a boat into a Jeep. Um, by all means, brother. Yeah, get after it. That's I, We do that often here in the streams. Uh, if anybody comes and finds me right now, I, I'll pull to the side and throw you in my boat and off we go. You have certain days where you talk about the angler as well as under. Yes, absolutely, Jungle Whiskey. Sorry, I saw that you were new here. I should have actually iterated, it, iterated that, my friend. Um, you're doing nothing wrong asking. It's just uh, two very different groups. That's that's why we try to we do try to do them on separate days. So Tuesdays is the hunting lodge streams. Same time, same EW channels. That that was too cheesy. And uh, yeah, we like to go over all the stuff. In fact, we just showed off yesterday uh, the newest reveal, three hundred eight bolt action kind of cool so we did that yesterday and then we come out on wednesdays for the tackle box you know we often get the devs out here it's great because you know devs like to tell you too much and <laughs> i love it i absolutely love it we have so much fun with it like low-key leaks you know when before norway came out and i just i just like to go back to this i sat here with this big old bearded grin on my face we had three of our devs with us and each one of them had a Norway scene on the green screen behind them. And like a lot of our chat caught on to it. And wasn't the first stream that it happened. They missed that one. But the second stream, and it was like, oh my goodness. And everybody, it was like a it felt like a like a um like we we're playing GeoGuessr. What location is that? I saw them in the Discord and throughout the community. And like, look, this is what I found. Look at these houses. This has got to be Norway. Some people actually nailed it. It was a lot of fun. Yeah, so that's every Wednesday, every Tuesday, the Hunter, every Wednesday, the Angler. Uh, and then we live this stuff in our discords, my friend. Uh, you know, we're, we're all about it in the discords, always going on. Maybe going on too much. You can always find me there. What are we rolling our eyes about, Mike? What did I miss? <laughs> oh, you think, John Salzar? You think? <laughs> oh, man. Hope they had rod holders using multiple rods that would make catfishing much more enjoyable. I agree. I agree. The team agrees. It's been a big talk. Um, rod holders, you know, I would say that, like, I mean, anything is possible, right? But there's certain things that I, I working with the company, being a gamer, sitting here with you guys that I expect we will see. Uh, and it's been alluded to. And I think rod holders would be something that uh, if they can work it out as they want, that I think that's something that we would see down the line. I have no confirmation on that, but it's been talked about here on the streams with our devs. So I do know that it's a very strong consideration. It's had a ton of upvotes on Discord, which by the way, guys on the Angler Discord in the forums, I know I say this all the time, make sure to come and join, get your upvotes, get in there and upvote in the forums. If you see an idea you like, the more upvotes, the more view it gets from the devs. Okay, that, that, just, mm. we'll try a couple with, uh, let's, let's try, that's a little, I don't really like going with the eight, it's a bit much, we could, now, yeah, let's try a four spinner bait. We'll see. We'll see. I know they've been caught with them. Let's see how we do. Let it sink in here a little bit. Pull it in. Oh, it's right on the bottom. Look at that. Let's get our speed down. We'll just do this constant. See what we can do. So, what is the update? Well, um, please don't hold me to this, but I believe you're going to see the update tomorrow or possibly Friday. It's it's what we're shooting for. Um, it's it's in that good a shape right now. Uh, I you know again. I hope I'm not getting in trouble spilling things, but that that's that's what we're aiming for. And you know they 
just like with anything they don't like to give the date because hey those last minute stuff that happens especially when you're dealing with a live right our game is live so um yeah but i think you can expect to see it probably possibly as soon as tomorrow and of course you know the first thing we're going to be doing is, is checking out what everybody thinks right there's some big stuff in here man you get to hide the ui you can totally hide to get hey what's up <laughs> i love it apple raptor but man did you find me he's totally found me we're going for a pickup can i get in close to shore let's see here that's awesome <laughs> love seeing him just cruising by i'm coming brother see if i can not actually beach it see how it slows us down now love it throwing down the emotes jump on in my man can you get that close can you get in yeah i gotta back up i kind of beached it a little bit there there we go hey with yeah so exactly thank you appreciate you we like to put it out there as best that we can oh look how slow i am i'm digging into the mud okay you know what since we're in the boat let's just go and move out here right on as i said guys if you want to come and join us come and find me on the map we are in the bottom right hand corner oh my man yes sir love it love seeing people pull up there he is in chat too right on apple raptor uh i you know you're fishing with a kokanee rookie in this game i haven't caught a, a kokanee yet this this is the whole point of this i'm out there just having a good time with it trying to find trying the different locations things i know to be um you know irl and uh things i've seen throughout the community too i i find that uh, it looks like tubes might be one of the more popular within the community so i want a combination of deep and shallow so maybe we'll we'll try this here see how that goes rods out baby see how we do turn our speed back down i'm gonna try a constant silent juggler what's up man how you doing bro Try to find you, but me, uh, but not as simple as God. Well, the other one too, speak Huber. Let's take a look here. There's probably um, the service fill. Oh, okay. So actually, we've got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, oh, nine. You can only get twelve. We're pretty close to full. So you can find us. Uh, if you can find us, you can actually fast travel down here and just jump out over to us. We're right by the shore, so we can come and get you. Oh, I really let that sink. Whoops. Okay, we're on the constant here now. We need beards. Mike Strong, yes, sir, we do need beards. We greatly need beards. We need this in the Discord forums, and we need everybody to go upvote it. We need to blow it out of the water. It's been talked about. There's actually a lot of our team members have beards, so we're not the only ones that want that. <laughs> I think we're going to see more customization come down the line. Um, we've seen the little adjustments and the, and the tweaks. We, we see how passionate they are and what they want to do. So it's just a matter of time, right? MD, what's up, my man? Good to see you, sir. Welcome. Never misses a stream, Mr. MDTV. Yes, sir. Thank you, Mad Dog. Appreciate you. Caught my salmon on swim bait. You, oh. So Gypsy, you got yours with a swim bait. Yeah, so it's interesting what some of them have actually done. Not just beers, but an actual Jaxi beard. Good. You know what? And I have to say, I need to uh I need to change my lighting. This makes me look so incredibly gray. I don't want them to do it because it's mostly like blonde, believe it or not. You have to see it IRL. Because it's just how it goes. Man alive. I'm gonna put a filter on it and show up with a pink beard like our boy to Doslayer used to do. Hey, you ever watch Doe? He's a fantastic creator. He used to dye it like a bright pink. Yeah, I loved it. My Google Home's talking to me in the other room. That's a little creepy. Yeah, so uh, beards would be nice. Beards would be nice. It certainly would. Beard care tutorial went. Well, I mean, we've got 20 minutes left. I we go over beard oil and grooming and maintenance. I got to tame the mane every morning. First thing you want to do is stop that pick up the controller and get fishing i haven't caught a single fish on my setup oh apple i need help brother <laughs> Richard Pierdo. yeah new new ew merch right <laughs> okay moving on you guys are killing me man uh, I'd like to see more standing timber in some waterways and add crappy in the game. Crappy would be a great addition. And, and you know, 
it, it's hard for our designers. Oh, I watch them. Masterful. They are. They are. Like how they go about it, the, the research that goes into it, um, and uh, like the, the consulting that's done. Um, I just can't wait for them to, to be traveling to these locations because clearly I need to be there. Um, yeah. Yeah. So we're going to need a, a Hawaii map. I wouldn't mind a Mexico map. Um, maybe the Maldives, uh, Canary Islands. <laughs> <laughs> for research sake right <laughs> no but seriously uh, there's a lot of design that goes into it and and with the species and finding the areas that have that good mix crappy is one that's talked about a lot it is it is and it would be a great addition i say that at some point i think we will see that in game right very very popular fish um i think you're on point with that like you could almost add crappy to golden ridge right Almost, I guess I'm not sure on that. It's because of location. Um, yeah, what did you, did you just catch something over there? <laughs> Dang it, Apple Raptor, did you, hey, <laughs> this is my good luck right here. See that he gets on board. Oh, it's, oh, it's a monster. Come on. I'm only at the 30, 30%. Hey, well, you know what? I'll take the pike. Get on there, baby. I ain't getting skunked today. Man alive. But it's one of the things I like about this game, though. You know, it's it's changed. It's changed. So when I first started, when the game first released, um, I was out there like so many of uh, of our creators. I was out there slaying and just just fish after fish after fish. And and it was different then. Um, to uh, to get the the diamonds was easier. The like, there's so much balance that has happened since then. What I like about it is you can go out. I'll often I'll I'll throw a float on sometimes while I'm working and just have it open on. I'll move it to one of my other monitors, uh, which is great, right? It's 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 fun. And uh, then Bing, I hear the strike. You got to get over there in time. Sometimes I lose them. But yeah, it's kind of neat. Oh, Nighthawks, what's going on, man? Welcome, dude. Good to see you. Welcome, welcome. Will the angler be on console? Yes, it absolutely will. Uh, and it's in the process right now of development. Um, I do like to touch base on this multiple times through the stream because there's lots of asks for it and we understand that. We, we want to get it to everybody as soon as possible. So the development's coming along really well. Rushy, in fact, is he's he's talked about it often and uh, he's he's had a really good go with it. He, he likes what he's seen. So that that gives me a lot of hope. Um, and we'll keep you updated as, as we learn more like on dates and stuff like that. BZ Hub, what's going down, brother? Good to see you, my man. Sounds nice considering those Canadian winters. Yeah, well, hey, I'm on the West Coast. Go, I'll take hate for it, but the best coast, <laughs> we don't. I mean, okay, now that I say that, we actually did have a little snow last thing, but it's so rare to get snow here in Vancouver. You know, you got to go east, man. Like, you go east three hours, and it's completely different climate. Hey, it really is. All right, we're not going to let this go too deep. Yeah, not really having any luck here with uh, with the kokanee salmon. Well, but we'll keep after it. We're gonna try a, a different lure. We got a pike, but we're gonna try. We're gonna we're gonna do a little different setup after this. We'll change the size. Trust me, Canadian winters aren't nice. Where are you at, Noah? Where are about to you at? Where is everybody at in chat? Do me a favor, throw it in chat right now. Where do you hail from? Let's see the reach of YouTube and Twitch. Where are you guys at? It is cloud, absolutely, my friend. It is coming to console. It's in development right now. Nice name filter for those dirty names some people have a game. Yeah, yeah, I know. I know. St. Pete, Florida, Sweden. Yes, sir. US of A. You're in Ohio. Hey, Northeast England. Nice. Utah, Sweden. Or Sweden, Oregon. You're, we're practically neighbors. Finland. Nice. Oh, I got to pay attention. Denmark. What do we got? Oh, this one's a little bigger. It's another pike. I'll take them though. Look at them. Look at them down there. Bring them up in the U.S., Pennsylvania, Calgary, Winnipeg, Winnipeg. Noah, you know your winters, my friend. South Africa, Dewald, you're living the dream. U.S., Wisconsin, Kentucky. I have friends. Actually, I have friends at a lot of these places. Wales in the U.K., Vegas, baby. Hey, TwitchCon, Vegas, October. Yeah. I don't know. I don't know if I'm going to be able to make it. I'm going to try. I want to be there. I'd like to go to this one. Northeast USA. MD Canada. I know where you're at, brother. Minnesota. Nice. Nice. Denmark. Look at the reach, my friends. 
from all over the globe. Um, I, it's fantastic. I, I love that we have this platform. We can all hang out. Bolts fan, you're from St. Pete, Florida. Okay, okay. One of and the reason that I single you out is one of my best friends growing up moved to St. Pete. Interesting. Interesting. Where am I from? I live in Vancouver. I actually live in Langley, just outside of Vancouver, British Columbia. Um, there, there was, there was a time I was uh, supposed to be moving to Sweden, but um, due to family issues, I wasn't able to go. So uh, I still get to hang out with you guys, and, uh, and I'm staying with the company, and um, you know, because we can do a lot of this remote, fortunately. But I was really excited to move to Sweden for the hunting, for the fishing. Um, and I just, uh, yeah, the last time I was there, I loved it. All right, let's see. We get one more. Actually, hold on. You know what? I shouldn't, I shouldn't have cast that. Let's go ahead and cut our line and, uh, we're going to change up. Let's, uh, let's, let's, let's try a frog. Let's see how we do. We'll go with a five. We'll go with a five. Um, they're nice too. You get on a nice, just constant with the frogs and, uh, those that, that nab it, they, they nab it good, man. They nab it good. We'll do it at a one. I find one works the best Two, two as well, but one very good. That's where you got your dog from. Awesome, man. Nice. Uh, it's really cool. We're all over the world. A lot of different points of views and ways of fishing for the devs to listen to. Yes, Locke. That is exactly it. You know, we'll see this game flesh out over the years. Um, we're already... Oh, look at that. Stop teasing me, man. I swear I will chase down... Um, <laughs> Could use a bow for some bow fishing right now. I can see that guy. We, we've got we know we've got Norway now, so we have two completely opposite sides of the globe. Um, different fishing, different, you know, very unique um, to landscape and and different species. You know we're gonna see more. I just really hope, and a lot of this comes from you guys. I I really hope that yes. Oh, he's a not a bad looking. Oh, he's close. Get in there, baby. Um, I really hope that we see some, uh, I, you know, some like some exotic places, um, like like Iceland, like uh, like I don't I don't I don't know I don't know the Amazon like <laughs> with some, catch some marijuanas. I mean, I would love to see so many different options. It's a game. Let's get some really cool stuff in there, and a lot of that's going to come down to you guys in the Discord. Like, I'm not kidding. It is super, super powerful right now. And then it'll remain. Even when the player council starts, they're still going to be looking to Discord because of the reach. You know, our player council, we're, we're not talking hundreds or thousands of members here, but the Discord we are, right? So, uh, yeah, get in there. Upvote other people's ideas. I... I am Slapshot. I am a Canucks fan. I am. We, we just had a decent game. We're turning it around. You have to like pain if you're a Canucks fan. You do. Uh, not bad. Largemouth Bass Silver. I'll take it. I'll take it. I mean, just, just turn the week back. Last week's, you know, I still wouldn't have been on the board with it. But look at that. Chasing down the frog. Peacock Bass. Okay. Seen alligators around. Yeah. Yeah. So let me ask you guys, for those of you here, let's, uh, let's go off the back of the boat here. For those of you that, that you know, maybe fishing down in Florida, do you have to contend with alligator taking the bait? Like, if, if say they're alligators, say we had a Florida map, how freaking cool would that be? Um, would you have to contend with that? You have to like pay to be getting the cats, too. Hey, no one said it was going to be easy. You want that clout? You gotta earn it. And you're one to talk. <laughs> Mr. Uh, King of the Catch champion. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, let's go. I don't know why I wasn't already reeling there. I'd love to see a good Australian map. Seems like a location you don't see in other fishing games. That's a good point, BZ. And I, I know there's some great fishing off the Gold Coast there and such, right? So many awesome freshwater species in Florida. Like Gar. I would love Gar. Snakehead, I'm not as familiar with. Gar, I, I am. Um, largemouth. Snook. That would be awesome. That is a great suggestion. Imagine fishing with dynamite. Yeah, that's not a knife. <laughs> I'm, it just took me straight to Crocodile Dundee, right? Fishing in the Hudson with dynamite. Was that Crocodile Dundee too? I'm old, okay? Snakeheads are invasive. Well, the next call of the wild stream be next week, next Tuesday, my friend, next Tuesday, Tuesday's the hunter. Well, and Wednesday, cause we're both call of the wild. 
Uh, the Hunter Tuesday, Angler Wednesday. Thank you for coming to hang out, by the way. Appreciate you. Nice having the familiar faces through both of our streams. You know, even if you don't play the Hunter, come and join us. We have a lot of fun. And for me, um, you know, I... Yes! Nice! For me, it, this is largely a, about community. I mean, it's why I took the job. And uh, I'm very fond of our Angler community. Um, if you don't know what I'm talking about, just join the Discord. You'll see it for yourself. You'll see it. Oh, it's, it's a monster. Yeah, he's huge. Yeah. Well, we're grabbing everything other than... Would be cool to fish Marlin. Oh, wow. Could that, that would be very specific, right? That would be very specific. I'd love to see that. Or tuna. Right? Yeah, man. Come on, who doesn't watch Wicked Tuna? It's one of my go-to shows. That My two favorite shows, Deadliest Catch, number one, Wicked Tuna, number two. I like the variations they've done. Um, and kind of, they've done some crossovers. Very entertaining. Careful with that beast. And man, I'm telling you, Alpha Raptor got nervous. He was worried I'd lose control and go over there and slap his rod out of his hand. I understand. I'd be nervous too. He was a beast. Big male. RB, what's happening, man? Good to see you. Are there any adjustments to the casting? I've had to use accessible cast since the last update. So um, the accessible cast was an option. I know they're still looking at that, right? Because this comes from, from the shoulders of our community, right? We, we want to know what do people want? What do they like? Because our devs don't want to force anything on there. So if you have some specific requests about what you want to see with casting, not to sound like a broken record, but put it in the Discord forums. And, and I guarantee our other members will lend weight to it and, and upvote. Um, it's uh it's this guy look look i thought i saw a little guff it looked like he's going for it no he's not okay um but they are always adding things you know i think the biggest one so not the casting but with this update the the fact that you're going to be able to push a button for your your jigging and your twitching rather than having to do the motions right twitch quick twitching's actually the easiest right twitching you just give it a little wiggle. Da -da -da -da. The jigging though, if you keep the straight motion, it's easier on controller, with the straight up and down, you can keep it jigging. Cause there are certain fish that are only gonna go after you. You can see when you've been doing something, this happened last week on stream. I was, uh, I was twitching and then I stopped and there was a fish following and then I stopped and it just said, no, I'm out of here. But anyways, back to the rods, about to the casting and stuff. That is things that they want to continue to tweak. They want it to be the best experience for you, right? They're very adamant about that. So those are some of the steps as I'm pointing to my screen that you can't see. The jigging, twitching controls, um, the, uh, the the different reeling toggles. The reeling toggles are a big one. So it's not technically your casting, but it is your reeling. So those are coming with, with this one, with this update, which is nice. Twitch is super easy. You just open up the app. Yeah. Valid. Yes, that you you are correct. That is I he's not wrong. <laughs> I love it. Those small ones most dangerous to your fingers never show enough respect to their teeth. Thinking so small can't hurt you and bam, you were bleeding. Yeah, yeah. Oh, here we go. We've got another pike. We're on the pike here, Raptor. Right on, brother. Nice, nice. Well, I mean, it's nothing huge. It's a bronze. We're both pulling the same. He's, he's pulling all these. Yeah. He, come on, man. Let's see what else you got in there. Let's pull something nice out of here. I'm not fussed getting the pike. I don't mind jigging and stuff. I did wish I wasn't nodding my head all the time. So that's those are things they're looking at. So right now we're focused on the end of the rod. That's changing. There's going to be options. Oh, DeWald. I... Thank you. Thank you. I don't take compliments well. That you guys are amazing. That it's just easy for me to hang out with you all and pass on the stuff that I that that I investigate, that I get told, that I learn it. Did. Um, you know, one of the cool ones that's coming with this update. It's something that uh, it they're not abused, but I love it when I'm passing people. I more often than not get an emote at me. But there's more emotes and stuff coming. Right, they, they, you know, they're leaning towards. They really want to get towards different um, ways of chat. So with the new emotes and chat, you're gonna see like if you go in here now, you've got a lot of lines. There's gonna be more, right? Um, but the 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 end goal is to actually have like an, as a form of in-game communication, in-game chat, right? I don't know that we'd see a uh, void. That would be cool. Oh, it looks like we might have some action. 
I'm trying to slow it down. No! Come on, get after it! It's just a little guff. He wants something to do with it. But that pipe came out of nowhere. Hit it! Yes, sir! Oh, that's awesome. You don't see that as much anymore. Right? Since they changed a lot of the, the mechanics of the fish, we got lucky on that. I mean, it's a bronze. It's a bronze. I think Raptor might still be one up on me here. How many you caught, Raptor? I think I'm at an 11 Yep, we'll go with that. Have you ever seen uh, clown knife fish in Florida? So I've seen them. Um, I, it was on a... Um, I watch... Sunday morning is my fish TV. I get up and I have a coffee. If there is an F1 on, um, I put on like fish, fishful thinking. Um, there's so many that I watch. And uh, they, so one of them was, was showing the... Um, the the clown knife fish and I I'd never seen them before. They're very interesting. So they're super invasive, and they're insane. They look so much fun to catch. It'd be awesome in the angler. Steady fusion. It's exactly those are the examples. Those are things like we want fun, fun species engaging. You know, um, and 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 I think there's actually I I do like some of them. I keep going back to we need to we need to alter one of these streams so it's not on a Wednesday so that we can go catch a legendary fish together. Speaking of fun. But yeah, anyhow, suggestions like that, make sure to put that in Discord. All right. Hey, Captain here. Thank you, my friend. I always appreciate you hanging out. We'll see you soon. Oh, what am I missing? I missed so much chat. I'm going to start going back because I know I missed some um, long fight with a marlin. My buddy's done it. I think, oh, he pulled another bike in. Look at this guy. Nice. A juvenile. It's a monster. Probably good eating, though, Raptor. I've never tried pike. I've never eaten pike. It is a baby pike. Yeah. But uh, yeah, my, you know, watching the, the marlin, it would be pretty fun. Um, I'd really like marlin. I'd like a, like a deep sea fishing reserve. Would you call it a reserve? I guess you, maybe they, I'm sure our designers would come up with a different name, but just for what we know, our sake, we'll call it a reserve. I think a deep sea fishing one would be a lot of fun. Where you're going out on a big, you know, Grady White, and you're, you've got like, you know, you can take your, your boys with you, you got your rod holder, you're dropping a couple lines in for the tuna, and, and you're just giving her, boom, we got a fish on, boom, we got a fish on, you got to worry about tangling lines, and them coming into the prop and stuff. There's a lot of possibilities on where we could go with things down the line. You know, and different fishing styles and techniques. Anything is possible, as Rushy and Gaz like to say. I don't like to eat fish, but I love to actually fish. Does that make me strange or not? So, jug, jug of whiskey, I'm going to be straight with you. I'm not a massive fish guy. Um, I love halibut. I love cod. I love all the white fish. I like salmon done a certain way. Um, I like, uh, I used to do like, when I say that, I'm particular, like, I would do a pan fry in the mornings with the kokanee we'd pull out at our, at our cottage uh, with, with a couple eggs. Loved it. Um, in the herb and a butter. But, you know, I don't eat a ton. So I, I can relate to that. I like fish. I'll never say I don't. But, uh, yeah, no, I can relate to that. Look, you don't actually have to like eating it as long as it doesn't go to waste if you're doing it. Um, catch and release is always an option. But if you're going to bring it home, it's going to end up in your fridge or your freezer. You know, I, I'm a firm believer. You got to eat it. I like that with hunting, right? I, I don't like bear. It's why I don't hunt bear anymore. I, don't, I just don't like it. It's dirty meat. Too many worms. I just don't like it. You got to cut it with pork too much. You know, so same thing with fishing, right? If, if, you're, if you're really serious about it, then keep it. Stick it in that cooler. You know, I got a couple salmon in the freezer right now, actually, which I'm excited to have. They're frozen at the moment. I'm waiting for the good weather. I want a barbecue. I want a barbecue. Bear is gross. They all eat all the dubs. They do, man. They do. I, you know, even if you don't have a dump bear, even if it's not a garbage, you know, it, it, it's still, they have a lot of worms because of the, the way that they do get their food. They eat a lot of rotten crap. Um, and they have a lot of worms. I've seen it, man. I've seen it. Uh, I'd be down. I'm always fishing IRL, honestly. I only play the game Wednesdays. Because you both see when I'm down for some day of the week on a Monday. Awesome, man. You know, I'd love to get some community fishing trips. Oh, I didn't mean to push that button. Hold on. I'm not cutting the line. I'm just going to rock it in here real quick. I'm going to jump back up to the front. Next to Raptor. Get it a little closer to shore. See if we can get another one of these pike or largemouth bass. It's already 10 o'clock. Come on. 
Okay, so just a few more things because I really wanted to touch base on some of these. Some of these are very exciting in my mind. Um, there's more tweaks coming to the diamonds. So at the rate in which you're going to catch them, in which they're they're spawning, um, you know, it, it's it's always going to be a little bit of a work in progress. The, like, let's face it, we know diamonds, other than the legendary, they are the, the focus trophy right now, right? So you don't want too many, but you got to be able to obtain them. So there's always those tweaks. So there's some diamond tweaks coming. There is uh, water tessellation, water improvements. Now, man, I saw it in Discord. I haven't seen the comparison for a while. Just last week, I think, was it Wedge that posted it? Um, Might have been Wedge. And uh, it was showing, a, you know, like the before and after. It showed the water at release to where it is now. Uh, and it's it's on point. It, it, what a difference and there's more coming so i'm interested to see what those look i actually know what that looks like and i'm, and I'm pretty excited for it especially at sunsets go to norway hit sunset try and get those northern lights and tell me that's not some of the most beautiful bloody water uh various bug fixes tweaks there's always a ton of those more details on that in the patch notes we'll be seeing that the, acti the activity feed updates that's when someone's catching a fish um there's going to be ways to kind of uh different ways to view this is, is what they're doing with that there is game optimizations now i don't have issues you can see i'm at 154 fps games come a long way here we go get after it baby uh but not everybody is playing on a uh a satellite launcher as we like to jokingly call it in my family um we want this to be accessible whether you're playing on uh, the minimum requirements or complete overkill. It, it, and it, this has to be done and in place. Um, these are things that are happening. A lot of this is happening too because of um, the development on console and, and it is the same client. So um, I, you know, these things all get pulled together, right? So there's, you know, consoles coming along nicely. When you're seeing these things in this, in, in this version as well, in this platform, it's pretty cool. Uh, so the game optimizations are a big one. They, there's lots of little quality of life stuff, like the last vehicle spawn is what's going to pop up when you get on that list. It's kind of cool. Good morning, Hangster. What's up, brother? What's up? I need to talk to you, by the way, sir. Um, the quick wheel, which is like a nice quality of life feature. Yeah, because right now, if you want to get into it, it's not bad, right? I don't mind it, I, you know, but uh, they're going to have a quick wheel. So the quick wheel is going to change your fishing experience for the better. Quality of life. Um, we've gone through the vehicle cameras. We've gone through the hide the UI. Uh, map filters is a big one. You're going to be able to go through, and I think this is an early iteration um, on what we could see. Like, I, you know, the, the team knows that we'd love to see names on a lot of these bodies of water. You can find a lot of the names when you go to the specific spots when you're in that first person view. But, you know, right now, this is busy. You don't want to see all this, right? Maybe you're looking for someone in particular. You're going to have filters. I think that's a good opening to what we could see in the future, right? Big, it's, it's a big improvement. I'm really happy about it. The new emotes and chat options, the diamond tweaks, the bug fixes, the water tessellation. Can't wait, my friends. Can't wait. And I did kind of tease. Do I have it on here? Do I have it on here? I don't. Dang, come on. Maybe I can go back further. Let me go back further. It's got to be here. I'm going to say these names all wrong, but three really big things that I am looking forward to seeing, hearing, and playing more of in uh, hopefully the not too distant future. The legendary fish that will be coming to Norway, Stor Henrik, the Burbot, Spielfien, the Atlantic Salmon, Kale Paul, the Dominator, the Northern Pike, and it was pointed out to me the difference in size in the pike in the two different reserves. I'm sure I have absolutely decimated those names, but I am super excited about them. I need to just keep throwing it out there. I had to go way back. We talked about that uh, a while ago. In fact, a number of streams back. We've ran way over here, but that's because we're having fun. You know, <laughs> hold on. Oh, I got a big in. Hold on, folks. This is the showstopper right here. This is the showstopper. Oh, well, I was actually hoping he was going to be a juvenile, but we'll take the bronze. Oh, it's a silver. Oh, I thought he was going to be a bronze. Well, it's actually not that bad. My friends, thank you all for coming to join me this week. Um, I hope I touched base on a lot of your questions. Uh, we, you know, we had a chance to go over 
the upcoming update that you should hopefully see sometime this week. We had a, talk, a chance to talk about our player council that the, the applications are closing soon. Like we're literally that close. It's on our doorstep. If you want to get involved uh, further with us in the in, in, in just the growth of this game um, and, and the direction in which it's going to go, come and join that player council. You'll find the links within Discord. We've talked about Discord. If you're not in there yet, it's where all of your incredible feedback and suggestions, good and bad and the ugly, all get put in there. And we see them, we read them. And in uh, quite a few cases, we're taking action on them. If you do have any problems, it's a great place to go. We have our support in there. Uh, and of course, follow us on all the socials. Most importantly, every Tuesday, every Wednesday, we are here in the Expansive Worlds channels. Make sure you've hit the follow, hit that subscribe. Thank you all so very much. Much love from your bearded brother. And I'll catch you guys throughout the community. And until next week, good luck. Raptor, my man, thank you for coming to join me, bro. Catch you later, everybody.